Let's talk about the price scale. The price scale is right here, and most traders and investors know exactly what this is. It tells you how much a symbol is worth. We are looking at a chart of EA, Electronic Arts, the maker of Call of Duty or Madden, and you can see that one share of EA at this point trades for about $132. So one share is equal to $132. And we know that because we're looking at USD here and we can see the price scale here. We can also, though, click this drop down and search for any currency on the earth, whether it is a Forex or a cryptocurrency. So this is a very helpful tool for pricing anything on the planet in the currency of your choice. So we have EA and say we want to price EA in a different currency so in this example we'd like to see what it looks like in the british pound well we can type in gbp we probably could even just type in pound and we'll see a whole list of other currencies that are named pound and we're going to select british pound now we've selected british pound and you'll see the chart has adjusted it's gbp we're now looking at electronic arts or ea in British pounds so one share is equal to about 111 British pounds if we click the drop down again and type in peso well we could look at the Cuban peso the Chilean peso the Mexican peso and scroll down to see all the other peso options available but why don't we click MXN the Mexican peso select now we can quickly see that one share of EA is equal to 2,600 Mexican pesos. So this is possible for essentially any currency. And before we show you some cryptocurrency use cases, let us first remind you that you can click the favorites icon to build your own favorites list of currencies that you always want to keep nearby. So we actually will add BTC in this example. Why don't we even add ETH? And there we go. And now you can see here our favorites all, are all right here. We have the peso, the dollar, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Euro. And we can click at any point to quickly adjust the price scale so we can see a price scale in that specific currency. Now let's talk about cryptocurrencies really quick. And then we're going to also show you futures, which are just as important. Now we know that uh, uh, cryptocurrencies are often priced in different uh, uh, currencies themselves. This is BTC USD or Bitcoin US dollar. But of course, it can be useful to look at cryptocurrencies compared to to other cryptocurrencies. Now, one way you can do this, of course, is using the formula search. You see here, you have them all. You can make your own formula or equation. BTC USD, we click the divided by, or we could just type divided by, and then we could do FUSD. We could hit enter. And now we're looking at a ratio chart of BTC USD versus F or Ethereum. ETH USD, and we can sort of get a feel for what crypto is outperforming and what crypto is underperforming. There is, though, an easier way to do this. So we have BTC USD. Why don't we just go to our, our, our price scale and select the currency that we want to suddenly create this ratio in, and the price scale quickly adjusts and it's perfect to our needs. So this is also very beneficial for cryptocurrency traders and investors. And by the way, as you scroll down, you can see how comprehensive this list is. You are talking about essentially every Forex pair or every Forex you can think of, uh, the majors, the exotics, the minors. If you wanted to do the German mark, you could. If you want to do the Danish krone, you could. Also cryptocurrencies, you could do Dogecoin. You could do EOS. You could do Ethereum Classic. It's totally up to you. And it's simply as easy as just clicking the drop down, searching or scrolling down, and then of course clicking the favorite star so that they always sit at the top of your page. Keep that in mind. Click the drop down, and there is the favorite star. If you favorite something, it will always appear at the top. This says Binance Coin. Let's click the star. Now let's go back and open the drop down. 
there's Binance Coin. So you can make your own menu that is custom to your needs by favoriting a specific crypto or Forex. Okay, one more really important thing is that if you are a futures trader and you trade commodities or different assets, you can also see the price scale in different units and you can favorite those units as well. This is crude oil, light crude oil futures. Naturally, crude oil futures are going to be priced in barrels. That means one barrel right now is equal to about $92. But if we were to click this, we can actually price a barrel of oil in other units or, or, or just other measurements. For example, maybe you want to price light crude oil futures in ounces. I'm not saying that's a popular thing. It's just remember, we're just trying to show you some uh, really uh, um, um, uh, exotic examples so that you can see just what's possible. You can price it in ounces. You could price it in kilograms. And of course, you could price it in really anything you see on this list. You could do a, a chord. You could turn your crude oil chart not by the per dollar bar barrel, but instead by the chord. And as we mentioned, if you just go ahead and click favorite, so when we favorite jewel, kilojoule, gigawatt an hour, uh, you can see your energy. We can do uh, uh, ounces. We can do pounds, and now if we scroll up, we see all of our favorites. And for commodities traders, this, this can be especially helpful. If you type in ZZC, corn futures, let's open the corn futures chart. And then, of course, we can click this drop down, and we can see corn, corn futures not just in bushels, which is how they're always priced, but we could also see them in pounds or ounces. The decision, of course, is ours. Everyone has their own different style or is performing different measurements. But that is the possibility. So this is the price scale. We showed you a few quick tips. Always keep in mind, too, you can right-click on the price scale to get a menu of different options, logarithmic, index to 100. Uh, there are certain label features you can enable and disable and so much more. But the point of this video, and we have other videos about this menu even on our channel, the point of this video was just to remind you of the capabilities of building a favorites menu here on the price scale, as well as the different ways you can measure various assets and the types of equations you can create if that's uh, something that you're interested, interested in, such as changing the price scale to Mexican pesos. And let's say you're in Mexico, you live there, or maybe you're visiting. Say you're visiting Mexico and you happen to hold a lot of Bitcoin and you're spending everything in pesos. Well, that's an interesting use case for you to want to be looking at a peso chart because that might help you better visualize um, you know, your surroundings and what you're, what, you're, what you're actually paying in in that country, which is the peso. So use this tool to your advantage. It can be helpful for getting a relative feel for what a currency or unit uh, is doing uh, compared to the asset you're actually looking at. And it can also be helpful because you can make these favorites menus, these favorite menus, and just quickly jump through different currencies to get a feel for what's happening globally and just get a feel for even what the performance and outperformance is like in different symbols. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helps and go ahead and try it. It, uh, you know, we look forward to hearing your feedback. We think if you give it a try, make your first uh, favorites menu here. Uh, you might have some great feedback for us or find some new use cases for yourself. Thanks for watching.